Hi everyone and welcome to my first banter blitz. This is Robin for Chess24. You might know me from my King's Indian series that I did for Chess24 a while ago. I'm currently in the Gibraltar studios working for a guy who's probably the worst boss in the whole world. His name is Jan Gustafsson. Maybe you've heard of him before. So I've had three pretty gruesome days here and I'm recording at Taimanov Siri, which should be out pretty soon. So for those who are interested in that, uh, definitely keep an eye out for that. I am going to play some Blitz. I hope uh, after all this studio time I can still play some chess myself. But we're going to find out. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to talk a little bit about my games while I'm playing. Let's see. Ah, here we are. So I usually play one e4. It's my favorite move. I'm not very good at any of the other moves. This is the Petra of Defense. I usually don't win against that opening, but maybe today will be a different day and I'll be more successful. Hmm, D5 I haven't seen before. I'm probably just gonna go Queen D2 and Long Castle. Um, try to keep up with you guys in the chat, but uh, first I'm gonna try and win some games. Uh, Blitz is not really my specialty, although I've been getting some practice recently. Uh, I'm spending a lot of time in Canada and uh, in uh, North America in general. And uh, one of my best friends, Eric Hansen, who's a very strong grandmaster from C Canada, has a YouTube channel actually together with me now. It's named Chess Bra. You can look it up on, the, on YouTube. And we've been playing some banter Blitz of ourselves there. However, I'm not sure it's going to gonna help me out today. I don't like his move queen e7. I think that sort of blockades his development a little bit. I'm planning to go rook e1 next and hmm, what is this? That doesn't look very good either. I'm gonna go bishop d4. Stop him from developing. Okay, I'm gonna go rook e1. This is looking pretty good, guys. I'm feeling confident about this game. See, my rating is only 2250, so I hope I can get that up a little bit. Shouldn't be impossible, I think. And now I'm gonna show off some of my tactics. We're really good at that in the Netherlands, I think. So here it goes. Rook takes e6, guys. This is what you're all tuned in for. I'm gonna go rook e1 next and I'm winning some material actually getting a queen and a piece for the two rooks so that's pretty good. Next on I'm gonna play queen f4. I guess I'm not playing queen f4. I guess I'll try to play queen f3 then. Attack his f6 pawn. Well this should be a winning position by now. Yeah, Jan can only talk about Thailand these days. We haven't had any normal conversations. But uh, he's going to do a bit of banter blitz himself after my hour here, and he'll probably tell you more about that. He's been playing a big tournament in Thailand. So I'm just trying to open up some files here, I guess. H4, H5. Wow, he wants to give me a check on E1. Hmm. I guess I'll just take the pawn. It's getting a bit much now. I'm already up another pawn. I have those. I have the queen and the knight for the two rooks. Best he can do is play rook e2 check, but I'm just gonna take it with my queen, I guess. And uh, that should be a very easy end game to win. Uruguay. Yeah, I'm going to Uruguay. That's right. Oh no, I think. Do you know? Ah, my opponent's from Uruguay as well. That's funny because I'm actually going to go there pretty soon, guys. Uh, I'm going to go to Montevideo with a friend, Eric, that I mentioned before. I'll be his assistant or second, whatever you want to call it there. And that's kind of a free holiday for me. So I don't know who this guy is, but I might see you there. I haven't been in um, South America before, so that should be pretty exciting. 
Um, I'm not playing as much myself this summer. I do have the Dutch Championships in July, but otherwise I'm taking a bit easy um, on the playing chess myself part. And um, I'm doing a lot of lectures and stuff in uh, Canada actually. Mm. It's taking a bit long to beat this guy. I'm just gonna play real safe. I'm gonna go king b2, then f4 and knight e5, and just slowly squeeze out the point, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard. So yeah, my plans for the summer are, I'm going to England pretty soon, because I'm playing in the British League. Then I'm gonna go back to Montreal where I spend most of my summer and where my many of my friends are living. Then I'm gonna go to Montevideo for two weeks. I hope I pronounce it right. And then I'm gonna go to Buenos Aires for a week for holiday. And then I'm in Montreal for another month. And those are the plans for like the coming two months, I guess. So lots of stuff that I'm up to. I'm just taking this pawn because his rook is hanging on e7. If he takes it back, then he's pretty much down. Ah, he resigned. Okay. Um, what should I press? New game, I guess. And I'm going to go to my challenges and accept whatever is there. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. I think I know who this is. If it works, mm, doesn't work. Let's try someone else. Hey, producer, does it work when I accept the challenge? I don't know what's... Guys, just a small break. I... Not... Ah, am I playing? I think I'm... Oh, I'm playing now or no? Just a small break, guys. Uh, try ah, I am playing, sorry. I'm not sure how this chess 24 interface is working, so excuse me for that. I didn't really understand what was going on. I think I was already playing that game for a while and I... And I did something wrong. Anyway, we're um, playing the Karakan. This is my usual line. I'm playing that advance. Um, I never remember too much about it, but I think I know where my pieces should go, so that should be fine. So I'm going to go maybe a4, a5 next to gain some space on the queen side. I've done something like that before in my games. I think I gained 8 points from that game. It's not too much. Oh, that's not something I should have allowed. Ah, that's not very good. I guess... Hmm, he has a very good position now. This was not planned. Just got my bishop for nothing, actually. I, I've, I don't think I've been in Café La Rierbaum that much. For those who don't know, it's a chess café in Amsterdam. I live pretty close to Amsterdam, but I haven't been there uh, too much. I hope to go more in the future. Thanks, Jan. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's not that bad. I'm just a bit worse here. Although it really doesn't look nice. Hmm. What to do? Okay, I guess I'll put my rook here. Maybe I'll play c4 if he goes c5. I'm not sure yet. Maybe takes and c4. 
I guess I should go C4 anyway, for what it's worth. But he can go like takes and bishop e4 or something. It's definitely not my best position. Oh, wow. Is he going to go bishop takes d3 and... Oh, my God. He's going to go bishop takes d3 and knight takes e5. But this is what happens to you when you have to work for Jan in the studio all day, guys. It's very bad for your chess. Oh, sh shoot. This is... Like a full exchange, and oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, so bishop takes d3 there, queen takes d3, knight takes e5, and my queen was actually hanging. That would have lost me the game right away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of that threat, but that was a very lucky escape. Bishop e4 was also the move that came to my mind first, but of course, the tactics always better. Well, I was about to say, actually, that if I play really badly, maybe Nigel and I can do a little match. He, he seems to be a little bit done with Blitz as well right now. But I still have good faith that I'm going to win this game, actually. I uh, think my position is uh, probably the best it has been the entire game. So if he's going to remove his bishop now, I'm going to go rook c1, attack the c6 pawn. I guess... I guess I'm just doing that, and uh, I don't mind my position too much anymore. I guess I'll take. Okay, fair enough. Mm. This pawn is hanging. I guess I'll just play knight f3. Defend the pawn, maybe I want to take his bishop. He's probably going to take my knight on f4. And now I have some idea of playing rook c7. So, <coughs> mm -hmm, rook b8, right. Makes sense. It's actually hard for me to defend that pawn, so I'm just going to go do something crazy, I guess. I'm going to go d5. My idea is to go knight d4, attack his bishop, and then get in e6 and start some sort of attack. If he's going to take on b2, I'm probably going to change the queens and go knight d4. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like fun, so I think, I think I'll just do that. Right. I hope I didn't fall for any tactics again. Probably did. Tactics are not my best point, especially in Blitz, but I'm not sure what I missed yet. It's definitely out there. He's probably about to find it, but I don't see it yet, so I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't feel too bad for Nigel. He just won the tournament ahead of Jan in uh, Thailand. I mean, Nigel is still stronger than Jan, according to those results. We've been having some discussions about this, but... Uh, I don't think it's such a big shame to lose to Kasparov, guys. It's, he was a pretty good player once upon a time, and actually still is, as it turns out. Um, I wish I had a... Better move than knight takes f5, but I guess it's the best I have here. It's still pretty good. I, s I have a piece for those three pawns. Um, I want to go rook a6 next if I get a chance. I guess I'll go king f1. Or maybe just h4. Uh, maybe just h4. Okay, you can change it, but I'm still going to go to a6 with my rook and stop your a pawn. You want to go rook b6, right? That makes some sense. I'm going to go rook... Mm, rook c8... No. Okay, rook c8 check. Seems like a decent start. And now I'm supposed to show my endgame technique that I don't really have. I'm going to go knight c2, maybe try to block that pawn with my knight if I have to. I 
Yes, rook c4 now, rook a6, knight a3, and then he, at least his rook is tied down to the pawn. So, yeah, that looks all right. Maybe get my king a little bit more active. Mm, g4. Yeah, after me, uh, Jan is uh, doing his banter blitz. He's... Uh, hold on. Is he gonna go to g5 with his king? No, he's not. Okay. Oh, wow. Maybe I shouldn't be changing so many pawns, but I guess I already did it now. So I'm gonna go rook c7. And one day, I wanna bring in my knight and win the game. Actually, I wanna mate him. Knight d6. Uh, something like knight f7. Maybe my king will come to g6. This should work out somehow. Um, ah, and he wants to push this pawn, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go knight b7. I'm gonna play it safe. I wanna first take that pawn before taking any decisions about how I'm gonna mate him. King g6 is still there. I think I can just take here. I'm up in time, so this is going pretty well. I think that I have this game in the pocket. Um, right, but I don't care so much what's happening there. I'm just going to bring my knight back, go rook a7, then play king g6, and it will be... Well, then he gives up this. Okay. Mm, I think I'm going to win this on time if I have to. I'm gonna go 98 next to win it a little bit on position as well, but it might boil down to some kind of time thing, which is a bit nasty, but okay, it's part of blitz. Check. Rook h7. Oh, that was not the move I meant to make, but it's good enough, I guess. Okay. Oh, 31 points, that's good. This is real good. Where, where is Jan at with his rating? Like 2800 or something? I'm coming for Jan. Actually, uh, hold on, I have to go to my challenges again. Actually, been, um, we've been talking about doing a blitz match on the King's Indian for a while. Do I play white in every game? We've been talking about doing a blitz match about, uh, on the King's Indian. I'm playing as black. Uh, Jan has been criticizing my King's Indian. Oh. And I'm ready to defend it in a blitz match, so. This is some kind of modern or perk or something. Depends on what he does now, I guess. I'm not sure what this is. I think I remember seeing something like this before. 93 and then some sort of I hope I don't have to, oh sh I have to change the queens here. I don't really want to change the queens. With bishop d3, I guess, nah, okay, I think I have to change them. It's not too good to just go bishop d3 because he can always go back to something like b6 with his queen. This looks a tiny bit better for me. Maybe I'll spice things up with h4 next. If he goes h5, I have that g5 square for my knight. Um, so h4, like I said. If h6, I'm going to go h5. Uh, and this, this move, I thought I would have the option of playing e5. And then e6. And maybe it's not that much, but I do get some pawns which look a bit nicer than his, right? After e6, f takes e6, bishop takes e6. So I think that's okay. Must be a bit better for me. <clears throat> Let's see, I, g I will play, mm, I think I'll put my king in the center here. I'm gonna go to c3 and king e2 and Maybe knight g5 at some point. 
Give me two and now I guess okay. He wants to go knight f4. Uh, he's pretty active, to be honest. I'm gonna go. I want to do something solid. Maybe knight c. Hmm. Maybe takes an h5 actually. That takes doesn't look very good. Mm, difficult decision. <coughs> ah, and I also have to watch knight takes c3. Okay, if, if there's knight takes c3, I'm probably going to miss a tactic, so I'm just going to take. Ah, at least my position is a bit easier to play now. Bishop e3 and rook d1 and all the normal moves next. Okay, so I'll exchange here and then I'll play bishop e3. He's probably going to go b4, and I will not know what to do. Um, that's actually exactly what's happening. Hmm. What a surprise. Uh, this is really uncomfortable. I, I should think before I speak, but that's not the idea of the banter blitz. So I'm just going to go make a move like... Mm, this is bad. Maybe this is hard. Actually, this is c takes b4, rook c2, check, king d3, rook takes b2, and then my f2 pawn is hanging as well. Damn, this is really not something very comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna go rook c1, but I'm losing a bunch of pawns. So my h4, h5 was a bit too optimistic, I guess. I have to go king d3. He's gonna go like knight takes a2 or something. Uh, oh, even worse. Rook takes c3, e4, check. Right, that makes sense. Um, wow, this is really bad. Wow. Let's see if I can still do something here. Actually, it looks totally lost. Knight h4, not really, maybe bishop takes a7, but then e4 check, wow, this is, this got really bad after b4 suddenly, hmm, knight g5 is d4 losing, everything's losing, okay, I'm gonna go knight h4, <coughs> I guess e4, d4, rook takes f2, and just resigning more or less. But who knows, I might have one more trick or something. Maybe I'll get knight hg6 in. Maybe. But the problem is that after e4 check, king d2, d4, d takes e3 comes with a check. So I don't have any time for anything really. kind of expected. Uh, this is his specialty, the d5 system. Well, it worked against me, it looks like. Okay, rook takes c3. Not rook takes c3. Okay. Still going. 92 checking h2, and I sort of um, half that instead of completely, but I have, I'm going to give him a check, which is always a good sign, I guess. Especially for this game, where it didn't have any chances at all yet. Um, oh yeah, rook f2 makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll have to go back. He can push any pawn, really. This is pretty easy for him. I like that he keeps on keeps the material on, though. Maybe if he removes his knight, he will allow some checks. Or maybe I'll try and go attack him with my king or something. It's actually getting a bit better. His knight can move because then I give him a check. And he needs, like, a 
a few more moves to promote his pawns. So I have a very small window, but I might be able to do something here. I have to be very clever about it. Maybe g3 with the idea of knight g6. Although then d2 is coming. So I'm going to go... I'm just going to go rook f1. And I'm not sure what I want, but maybe something like knight g6, knight e7 after d2. And some kind of mate is there. Some kind of mate is coming. Knight g6 is coming. If I win this game, that would be a very nice surprise. I just checked my phone. Uh, my friend Anish Giri, that some of you might have heard of before, I think he's writing me messages about how bad I'm playing, so that's a nice sign. Okay, rook b2, he wants to take here, but I'm not going to allow that, obviously. Um, although he's going to go rook f2 now. Right. Hmm, okay, let's try knight g6 anyway. Okay. Still no tricks. Okay, I'll play here. I'm trying to get him to go to let me play something like knight e7 and then mate him on the h file with the bishop blockading his king on g7. Although his knight's probably going to go back to d5, and that's going to kill off pretty much all my chances. Ah. Yeah, knight, f knight d5 is very strong, I guess. Okay, that doesn't look very strong. That looks really bad. <coughs> I'm going to go check. I'm going to go knight f5, and he's oh, he still has that rook g6 check. Hmm. Ah, that's not a good sign. Well, not really flawless technique by my opponent, but really bad play by me, so I can't say too much. I'm trying to hold on here, but I'm down in time, I'm down in position. It's not looking too good. Ah, knight c2 check. Okay. Well, that's my first loss, and hopefully for you guys, not the last one. I'm just going to let my time run out. I don't know how to resign. Let's see who's next. New game. White again. Well, I'm just going to keep on going e4. I would like to play a game with black, though. I want to play some King's Indian. Ah, thanks for the game. Oh, I'm not paying any attention. E takes d5. Okay, some Scandinavian. Knight. I think knight f3 is the normal move. And if c6, I think I had a game with this before. Okay. It's not a bad opening for Blitz, um, this Scandinavian stuff, because it's a bit passive, but your moves are pretty easy, so. That always uh, makes a big difference in Blitz. Although I don't really like how he's doing this. Okay, I'm Normally I would castle short in this position, but since he's been playing a little bit slow, I'm going to be optimistic and play queenside castles. I'm not sure what to do now. Hmm. Rook e1, I want to go bishop e7 and d5, but it's just going to take it, and nothing. Okay, I'm just going to go h4. When you don't know what to do, you go h4 in blitz, and h5. Oh, what is this? Okay, but I cannot refuse such a generous offer. That was a very bad move. Wow. I didn't pay attention to the rating, guys, but uh, I think everyone should get a chance to uh, play a game, right? Try to find someone who's around that 2500 again. It's 
So now bishop takes b5. And this is two clean pawns up, so that's not looking too good for him. I guess d5 will be my next move. Okay, maybe not. Hmm, this rookie one and d5. I want to open up the position when I have two bishops, so I think that's logical. Actually, his e pawn is pinned now that his bishop is on e7, so it's only getting worse for him. Although he still has knight c5 to kick me back a little bit. I guess knight c5 is what, what he should play. Just laying into him. <laughs> Knight takes d5. Uh, what is this? D takes e6. Yeah, his knight's on d7. Okay, it's saying this is a pretty smooth game. <coughs> is Jan's blitz really 2800? Because I'm I'm not really getting close with these losses. I have to spend some time on here, do a lot of sessions before I get to that rating. Um, let's see, challenges. I don't, ah, here it is. Okay, new game, guys. I'm finally playing with black. Hope that he plays d4. Can you play d4, please? Or e4, I'll, I'll show you some you guys some of my new stuff about the time on off, but no moves are coming in yet. Do I miss playing for the sharks? <laughs> of course I miss playing for the sharks. Oh, this stuff. Um, hmm. Okay, I think this is the theory. Oh, okay, I'm not so familiar with this. I'm just gonna pretend it's a normal Sicilian, I guess. I always like to take the bishops in the opening. I like to hide my own bishops on g7, as you guys might have noticed. So I'm feeling pretty good about this opening. Although I guess it's around equal. So I want to go bishop g7, castle. He wants to build up some sort of Maroxy structure. Which is fine with me. We can play that. He wants to go d4 at some point, put his knight back to c3. C takes d4, knight takes d4, castle. Okay. I think I'll go b6 with the idea of bishop b7. I don't really like how he plays his knights on d4 and f3. I think it's better to have them on d4 and c3. So I'm just gonna hide another bishop on a fion shadow. So, it looks good to me. I put my rook to c8, maybe the pawn to a6, maybe a pawn to e6, build some kind of hedgehog position. Nothing special is going on here. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to switch to three minutes later on. This five minute stuff is a little bit... Jan advised me to play five minutes, but it's a bit for old people, I think. Sorry, Jan. It's just... I am keep on waiting. And Okay, the other game I had a bit of a... a bit of a... time trouble issue, but I think my chances would have been better in that game with lower time, so I'm going to try and switch to three minutes if that's possible. 
Maybe I'll even do a, a bullet match or a bullet game. Oh wow, he fell for it. That's that's a pretty nasty pin. So this game is over. That's losing a piece. Wow, that happens all of a sudden. I didn't see. I barely pre-moved that and it already happened. Okay, we can play on, but there's not that much point. <coughs> you should switch to bullet. Let me see, in my challenges... Okay, let me try to play bullet game. And I'm gonna try to talk at the same time. So e4, whatever he does. Maybe I'll just go d3 against anything. Yeah, I'm gonna, oof. It's already a first struggle. I'm gonna go knight f3, g3, all the usual stuff. Okay, wow, this is like a king's Indian. I'm probably gonna win. I'm gonna go a4. Okay. No problem. He gave me a pawn, I didn't take it, obviously. Oh, I'll put this here. Play f4. Go back, maybe f5 next, maybe bishop h3 is an idea. Now e5 is on, is my next move, that's for sure. e5 and just winning material, I think. See, it's not that hard to comment on a bullet game. Although maybe speaking before my turn. Uh, still looks okay to me. Just have to, have to get my bishop out of there when it's being attacked. And yeah, this loses another piece, I think. So, just gonna change, uh, probably gonna take this knight, oh, okay gonna take this knight and play with whatever is left. Mm -mm -mm. King f3 to stop his king from coming in. He might, okay, he doesn't do that. He could have gone d3 to try to get some counterplay with the king, but it's a bit late anyway. Oh, <coughs> oh some Kurosawa questions, that's always good. Uh, so guys, my dad is actually from Curaçao, which is a island uh, close to Venezuela. It's a Dutch colony and uh, I visit it sometimes, but I don't have any plans to uh, visit anytime soon. Um, because, well, as I said, I'm pretty busy traveling to other places, but I would like to visit my family there. I think this is my friend from the Netherlands. He's a pretty talented kid um, who's trying to break my record becoming the youngest Dutch GM ever. His name is Jordan van Verheest. So this is a very important game. This is really big on my ego if I'm gonna lose this. So I'm gonna be focused. I'm still talking though. I wanna play F4, and, uh, but I mainly just really wanna beat this guy because he's been challenging me all the time. He's been trying really hard to get a game with me, which I fully understand, um, but Oh crap, that was... I thought there was 95, but I'm still covering that. And I kind of like my position, I think. Although it's around equal, but I have this F file and maybe I'll get an attack going or something. Her queen takes d3, knight f5 is very nasty, so... Can't take on d3 right now. I'm gonna go knight f5 anyway. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to put some pressure on the G file, rook G3 and all that good stuff. Oh, thank you. So that was the most talented Dutch player we have right now. Um, yeah, Chess in Holland is on a small decline, but maybe I'll give him another chance in this banter blitz session. Uh, let's play some three minutes. Mm, three minutes, three minutes, here. Can't play bullet for the entire session either. Gonna try a little bit of everything. 
So e4 again. Sorry guys, I'm a bit boring when it comes to my first move as white. Uh, I might throw in a little bit of knight f3 and c4 or d4, but that generally ends up in a disaster when I play it. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Thinking time doesn't. <laughs> Some people don't need time to think. Some people have to play by their intuition. And I'm not claiming to be one of these people, but I wish I would get a move in return, but things aren't going particularly fast. I think I'm going to abort this game. This is taking a bit too long for my... Uh, another three-minute challenge? Ah, lots of three-minute challenges. Okay, let's try this one. Oh. <coughs> ah. I prefer to play with black. I've been sitting in the studio talking about an opening for black the last couple of days. Might as well play it now. Hmm. Again, no move. Yeah, I'm going to abort this as well. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the with someone who just challenged me. Hopefully that will work. Oh, that doesn't work either. Except except something. Hmm. Guys, I need more challenges. I need more people to want to play me. Ah, I think I, I have an, an opponent after all. Five minutes though, okay. Guess it's better than nothing. So yeah, I played a, I played a King's Indian, but when my opponent allows me to get a nice version of the Slav, I guess I'm a bit biased and I go for that. Um, I used to play Slav after all, at some point. This is not a very ambitious opening by White. That's wh what I can say about it. Doesn't look dangerous, but he might go like Rook E1 or E4 or something. Rook E1, castles, E4. Actually, I would prefer not to take on e4, but put my bishop on d6, which is a bit stupid if I was planning not to take. Well, I'm still young, so I'm going to do something even more stupid. I'm going to put it on e7 anyway. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he has some sort of theoretical line with like two extra moves, but it's all good. It's, I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. These five minute games though, pff, they're taking so long. I might do like a bullet game on the side or something if they introduce that option. <coughs> so let's talk about the position. Some sort of French where I have a bishop on g6, which is a good sign because that thing is normally on c8 where it's really misplaced. Um, typical maneuvers would be something like knight b8, knight c6, where my knight's a little bit better on a uh, better place. But um, what I especially don't like about my position is my knight on c7. I think it's kind of a bad, badly placed piece. So I'm going to get a little bit... I'm going to do some weird stuff with that knight. We'll see where, where it ends up. This is my least favorite piece right now. So I'm going to try and put it to c3. And maybe this other knight can go to c4 if I have time for that. Um, he wants to play a4 next. Hmm. That's a bit annoying. Okay, I think I have to make a bit of space for my knight to go to a7. I guess the whole <coughs> adventurous plan of going to c3 is on a hold for now. But knight b6, knight c4 is still 
something I, I would like to do. So, hmm. Bit surprised by his a4 move, I think, now that b4 is hanging. He has a lot of things to worry about. <clears throat> wow, this guy's taking his time. Taking his time. Now I want to go queen d7, maybe put my knight to a4 if I have to, or maybe just after a5 put it back to... Hmm. What I was about to say is maybe put it back to a8 and then c7 and then b5. So I might do that. That looks uh, interesting. To have a knight on b5. Yeah, I think he'll go a5, I'll go knight a8. We're just shuffling around a little bit. Oh, he starts to chat to me now. Yeah. Um, okay, finally something's happening. Something's about to happen. I have to play h6 though. I don't have anything exciting. Okay, he made a move, rook takes c8. My knight on a8 is pretty pathetic right now, but I'm gonna maneuver it like a real grandmaster would do. Okay, cool. This knight to b5, the other knight to c6, and then at some point, one day, I will win a pawn on b4. Some point. Bishop d3 is not possible. Okay, he can make... Oh, wow, what is this? Queen c1 is so tempting, but I'm just going to go. Actually, I'm going to play like a real GM. I just change the queens. And uh, then win the b4 pawn, win the a5 pawn. And not play any more 5-minute five min five minute games because I don't have much time left and I want to play some quick games. Okay, you can take there, that's cool with me. My god. Ah, he's just losing a pawn, I think. B4 is not really protectable, is it? takes, bishop takes b4, everything is going very smooth and boring, whoops, bishop a b4, then a5, then bishop c2, then a4, all of the stuff that I would not do in a one minute game, but okay, as I said, a4, a3, a2, bishop c3, and I think uh, he's trying to make things a little bit difficult for me. I guess that's good. No, not really. Bishop c3, take. The knight end game uh, is not any good for him either because I'm going to win the d4 pawn. And then. Mm, actually, it's, it is kind of good for him relatively, but I'm going to attack the h5 pawn now. So he will lose another pawn and. Oh, he's not losing another pawn. That's a bit stupid of me. Okay, king. Oh, king f8. What's going on here? Oh. King e7, f6. Now I think he's losing a pawn. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> okay, knight f4, h5. It's always good to have one of these um, pawns on the a or the h file against knights. Um, those are the hardest ones to stop for the knights, so that's sort of a normal approach to push that pawn and of course I'm gonna push my deep pawn as well I mean two pawns down is way too much to hold a draw so this was a pretty smooth game okay let's see if there's any one minute challenges I like to play one minute that's my favorite so far so 
Ah, here we are. Yeah, and someone with a high rating too. That's great. Okay, let's try something else in E4, guys. Let's go something like knight f3 and c4 and some of the stuff that Jan might play. Oh. Yep, g4, of course. No hesitation when it comes to g4. Oh, I, I like this position. I'm going to go knight c3, long castle, put a rook to g1, checkmate at some point. Oh, knight b4 is threatened. Okay, this was a good move. Uh, temporary problem there, but I think we're good to go again. I'm going to go knight e4, knight takes f6, d5, you know, all that stuff that I usually get made by myself. Oh wow, this guy's really asking for it. Not sure where all those pieces are going, but I guess they'll figure out themselves. So just uh, throwing some pieces at him. Uh, as soon as this knight leaves, I'm gonna take. I'm up material. I'm feeling pretty good at, oh wow, I'm really slow though. I didn't realize that. Is this guy pre-moving everything? Oh, I'm gonna lose this game on time, really. Such a nice game. Oops. Too weak, too slow. That's what Magnus would say. But maybe I'm not too weak and maybe I'm not too slow. Ah, that was a bad decision. Oh no, he's gonna give me so many checks. Oh crap. Oh no, I'm, I lost on time. Terrible, wow. I really had that guy, but I took too much time. Okay, few more one minute games, guys, and then it's already over for me. I'll leave you to Mr. Gustafsson. I see another high-rated guy. I, I want to play those high-rated guys. They might flag me, but I'm having a lot of fun throwing some pieces at them. So I'm going to go continue that. There was a knight of seven mate. Is that true? Wow. Doesn't surprise me at all. I was trying to make quick moves, but I'm sure that there was a mate. Maybe mate in one, maybe mate in two, but there was something. That's for sure. I don't like this too much. This is not my style. Uh, this guy even knows theory, it looks like. I have to go h4, h5 pretty soon. That's that's for sure. Yeah, I developed my pieces. It's time to go h4 and h5. And take, I guess. Wow, this is not what I was hoping for. I guess it's not too bad. I want to go knight g5. And, okay, I guess I'm not going knight g5 anymore. Wow, but everyone's really fast on this website. Oh, that's a rook that I didn't take. Hmm. A lot of exchanges, but I'm just down 10 seconds and that's what it's really about at the end of the day. I'm not sure I'm gonna be surviving this when it comes to my time. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm winning by position, but Actually, I'm not sure about that either. Although my knight is very nice on that. Oh, that was a bad move. Uh, my knight was really nice on a6 to stop that king, but it's not enough, I guess. Maybe this, no, it's not. Another flag. Yes, thanks, Jan. I'm sure it's a very spiritual experience for you to see me thinking uh, out loud. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna do like one more bullet game because I didn't win any of them and it's really pissing me off. So, but, but I wanna beat someone really strong. I wanna like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna play the Dutch guy again because I managed to beat him. So if I lose to him, then it's definitely been a very bad day for me. If I do beat him, then 
I guess things turned out okay. I'm not sure what my bullet score is right now, but I have the feeling it's around 50% after losing those games. So it's all about this. It's the Dutch guys fighting it out. Ah, he's backing out though. He doesn't want to make any moves. Good for you. I'll I'll beat you later. Um, one more win one minute game. Okay, I guess this one is one minute. Oh. A move would be nice, guys. No one's making any moves against me. Right, okay. Actually, let me go e4. And I'm probably going to go d3 again, unless the guy goes d5. So I'm going to pre-move this, and then I'm going to go d3. That's some really deep thinking there. Yes, and it's working. That was a very deep strategy I had there when it came to my... Oh, 98 is not what I expected. Wow, C4 looks really ugly now. Okay, I guess I'll just play some moves. Bishop E3, Queen D2, Rook E1, all the usual stuff. Anyway, that was some serious bullet strategy I displayed there. I hope you guys take note of that. Taking queens is also something that I would generally advise you to do in bullet, but it really depends on the situation, so... In this case, it turned out pretty well. Okay, one last game. This one was a little bit too short for my standards. One last game, but people who play wide don't tend to make moves. That's kind of a problem here, guys. Okay, we'll have one last fight of the Dutch guys. I'm not sure, okay. Oh. Well, this is a pawn up. That's always a good start of a game. Although I prefer to have some mating ideas rather than be pawns up, but it's not too bad. That's two pawns. Oh, I'm counting pawns. I'm really starting to look like Gusti. Bad influence, guys. If you're planning to watch my King's Indian videos, don't listen to Go uh, Gusti too much. Oh, this guy just keeps on giving me all the points, all the queen takes b7 and all that stuff. Okay, uh, probably there's a mate, but I'm just going to be lazy and play rook d1. Yeah, that was not a very smart approach, but okay. Ah, I'm just joking around, I'm going to give him a queen. It's probably worth, actually probably quite a good move, knight takes d4. I'm going to go knight takes e6, double check, and then like take on c5, which gives me a whole bunch of other pieces. Queens are overrated anyway. So bishop g5 check. Well, this is really smooth. Really, really smooth. Rook d7. It's almost mate. Bishop f3, bishop h5. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, that was it. That was my first banter blitz. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely took a few hits there, but I had fun. I hope you did too. And next on is Jan, who is going to do the second part of the banter blitz. And I hope to see you back on Chess24. Uh, if you guys like my videos, uh, you can tell me on my Twitter or here on Chess24. Have a look at my YouTube channel that I do with a friend. Uh, it's named Chess Bra. We also do some Twitch. So I'm doing a bit more banter blitz while I'm traveling around the world. And if you guys liked it, definitely check that out. So see you later. Until recently, chess was like this. <laughs> chess 24 brought you this. Live interactive broadcasts from top tournaments with computer analysis and video commentary by the likes of Jan Gustafsson, Lawrence Trent and Peters Fiddler. A play zone where you can take on opponents from all around the world 24-7. Interactive beginners courses ensuring you pick up the basics fast while having fun. A tactics trainer to sharpen your chess by solving puzzles adapted to your level. 
hundreds of interactive videos, letting you watch and learn from star players such as Vichy Anand, Peter Svidler, Paco Vallejo, and Hu Yufan. You've given up on that outdated computer? That's why there are more reasons to use Chess24 on mobiles and tablets. Full play zone access, including pre-move. A tactics trainer so you can stay sharp wherever you are. Computer opponents you can challenge even when you're not online. Live broadcasts of top chess events. And the half? It's free! Well, that's half true. Most features are free, but limited for registered members. For a mere 99 euros per year, however, you can step up to premium membership and gain unlimited access to our video library. That and much more. See you at chess24.com.